Hi everybody, it's Miss Karen from the Hancock Town Library. I have another story for you and I brought my puppet friend, um, Bunny. He doesn't really have a name, so I'll just call him Bunny today. And um, it's a story about bunnies, big surprise. <laughs> so let me start. The name of the book is Muncha, Muncha, Muncha and it's written by Candace Fleming, illustrated by G. Brian Karras. For years, Mr. McGreeley dreamed of planting a garden. He dreamed of getting his hands dirty, of growing yummy vegetables, and of gobbling them all up. But he never once tried it until this spring, said Mr. McGreeley, this spring, by golly, I'm going to plant a garden. So he hoed and he sowed and he watched his garden grow. Lettuce, carrots, peas, tomatoes, yum, yum, yummy, said Mr. McGreeley. I'll soon fill my tummy with crisp, fresh veggies. But one night when the sun went down and the moon came up, Three hungry bunnies appeared. Tippy, 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 pat. Muncha, muncha, muncha. The next morning, when Mr. McGreeley saw his gnawed sprouts, he was angry. So he built a small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. There, he declared, no bunny can get into my garden now. Oop, looks like the bunnies are watching. And the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 pat, spring hurdle, dash, 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 muncha, muncha, muncha. Oh, they're back again. The next morning, when Mr. McGreeley saw his nibbled leaves and gnawed sprouts, he was really angry. So he built a tall wooden wall behind the small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. Hmm. He huffed. Those flop ears will never get over it. No bunny can get into my garden now. I think they're watching. And the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 pat. Dig scrabble, scratch, scratch, scratch. Spring hurdle, dash, dash, dash. Muncha, muncha, muncha. Next morning, when Mr. McGreeley saw his chewed stems, his nibbled leaves, and his gnawed sprouts, he was really, really angry. So he made a deep, wet trench outside the tall wooden wall behind the small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. Ha! Huh, he snorted. Those puff tails can't get under it. They can't get over it. No bunny can get into my garden now. And the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 pat, dive paddle, splash, 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 dig scrabble, scratch, 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 spring hurdle, dash, 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 muncha, muncha, muncha. The next morning, when Mr. McGreeley saw his chopped, blo chomped blossoms, his chewed stems, his nibbled leaves, and his gnawed sprouts, he was furious. So he hammered and blocked and sawed and stalked, drilled and filled and trapped and locked, and he built a huge, enormous thing before the deep wet trench outside the tall wooden wall, behind the small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. I've outsmarted those twitch whiskers for sure, he exclaimed. They can't get through it, they can't get under it, and they can't get over it. No bunny, no way, no how can get into my vegetable garden now. And the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 stop. The three hungry bunnies looked and smelled and touched the huge, enormous thing before them and Tippy, 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 pat. The bunnies hopped away. I think he finally got them to stop eating his vegetables. 
The next morning, when Mr. McGreeley saw his untouched vegetables, he was happy. I beat the bunnies, he whooped, and he did a jiggly wiggly victory dance. Then he climbed over, jumped across, squeezed between, and crawled under until he reached his vegetable garden. Ah, sighed Mr. McGreeley at last. Smacking his lips, he picked and pulled up lettuce, carrots, peas, tomatoes, and with his basket overflowing, he reached inside for something yummy. Oh, what was in his basket? The bunnies! Muncha, muncha, muncha. Looks like Mr. McGreeley's just gonna have lunch with the bunnies. The end. I have a little song about a bunny and it's to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It, which is a song you might know and if you don't, you can just listen and try to sing along if you want. If you're a bunny and you know it, hop around. If you're a bunny and you know it, hop around. If you're a bunny and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a bunny and you know it, hop around. If you're a bunny and you know it, flop your ears. If you're a bunny and you know it, flop your ears. If you're a bunny and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a bunny and you know it, flop your ears. If you're a bunny and you know it, shake your tail. If you're a bunny and you know it, shake your tail. If you're a bunny and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a bunny and you know it, shake your tail. Now this one's hard to do. I can't do it, but bunny can. If you're a bunny and you know it, wiggle your nose. See, is he wiggling his nose? Yep. If you're a bunny and you know it, wiggle your nose. If you're a bunny and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're a bunny and you know it, wiggle your nose. Good job. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I hope you have a great weekend, and I really miss seeing you, and I, I hope it's not too long before we can get together again. Thank you. Have a good night.